Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look that she had on Teen Vogue. So that was ages ago, but I never got a chance to get my hands on the copy. So, um, so from using images from Google and things like that, I'm going to be trying to recreate her look, which I love. It's bare, minimal. It's like she came out from a desert and her skin is just really... Um, matte and natural there's little on the lips just slight flush on the cheeks uh, with some bronzer and also just really neutral eyes a really beautiful makeup for every day in summer or just any time of the year I think it's so natural So firstly I'm going to take my MAC Face and Body Foundation in the shade C3. And then I'm going to be taking my Beauty UK High Brow Kit and just shaping my brows in quite a high arch. And then I'm going to be setting that using the Collection Clear Mascara. I'm going to be taking the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner in the shade Bronze and just taking that as a base on my lids for the... Revolution Palette, I'm going to be taking the Light Brown shade, the Peachy shade and the Black shades and I will be using them separately on the lid as for an all colour wash and a highlight and just an emphasising colour on the outer edge. And then I'm taking a fluffy brush and just blending the colours and I'm going to be taking my foundation brush and just run it over just to blend any harsh lines. Then I'm going to be taking a pencil brush and just taking a brown shade and taking that under the eye and also taking an eyeliner brush and taking the black eyeshadow and just pressing that into the upper lash line. Then I'm taking the peachy shade to highlight my brow bone. Next from the L'Oreal Color Riche Quad, I'm going to be taking the golden shade and just highlighting the inner corners of my eye. Color my eyelashes, I'm going to be taking the Telescopic Waterproof by L'Oreal Next I will be taking MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NT20 just to highlight the high points of my face. And I'm going to be taking the Real Technique sponge just to blend that in. Now I felt I needed a bit more coverage since I had breakouts on that day so I'm taking the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage in SE3 and Pinpoint Concealing. Then I'm going to be taking Hoola Bronzer just to contour and warm up my face from the highlighting that we have done. Then I'm just going to be blending that concealer in as it has sat on my skin so it's been it's become a bit more warm. I'm taking the collection loose powder and just tapping that very heavily onto the highlighted areas of my face. I'm trying out the baking method here and just seeing what how it is. I'm not doing it properly with a sponge and all of that. I'm just testing it out with a brush today. Then I'm going back in with the Hoola bronzer and just further emphasising my cheekbones. Taking a Q-tip, I'm just exfoliating my lips. Taking Strip Down by MAC and just lining my lips and filling them in. Taking a very nude lip gloss by Tanya Berg called Chic 
and just tapping that onto my lips to create a sheeny glossy lip and then I'm taking a fluffy brush and just brushing off the excess powder that sat on my face for about five minutes Going back in and further defining my eye with the light brown colour and taking a blush by MUA in shade 3, just taking that onto near the contour of my face. So near where I contoured I'm going to place the blush. And then again, going back in and contouring my face because I'm. Bye! Thank you for watching!